hello in this quick video i'll be showing you how to create swimming pool and to create swimming pool depending on the the shape you are creating but for this uh, video i'll be creating a simple just a simple rectangular or cuboid so i will go to components model in place select casework click ok click ok then select extrusion extrusion end should be something like 3000 and create a rectangle to the size you want and the material should be swimming pool that is if you have swimming pool before if you don't have you can always create your material here and uh, let's go to 3d and see okay this is it here so i need to go to one of the elevation and move it down let me go to rear okay this is it here let me select it then i'm going to move it down on constrain it then select this joint so that you'll be able to move it let me drop it here so that it will go be below the the natural ground level okay then while you are still in editing mode you can see i'm still in editing mode you click on create uh, we are going to open it and this is what we use to open it void forms under these void forms you see extrusion and all the all other modeling techniques okay but before we can really create an opening here the type of opening we want to create is um whereby one side will be deeper than the other that is how swimming pool are designed one side is deeper so that anyone that cannot go to the deeper end will stay at the shallow end and for me to be able to do that i need to go to section i need to be able to do the sketch on the section now you will see this um, reference plane i will be using this reference plane to be able to do my sketch if i select this reference plane now you see the name i've given it a name you can always give it a name here so that if you want to use it as your sketch plane as your work plane you can be able to use it as your work plane okay let me go to this section now i i am on that section so i will simply select this and hit edit and while in editing mode i am going to select void extrusion i will select void extrusion and now i am going to select that reference plane i've used before and click ok then i will use um negative 45 negative 45 and sketch the reason for negative so that it will have an offset inside if i do not put negative the offset will be outside okay so let me move this one up a little bit and this one up small and uh, I'm going to pick a curve because I want that end to be shallow. I want this end to be shallow and this side deeper. Then I will trim this and finish it. Let's look at it in 3D. Let me select the void extrusion and stretch it inside 
then in some cases it will require you for you to use uh, this cut but if it does not require it it is still okay and uh, finish it now you have our uh, swimming pool there but the grass is blocking it so let me open the grass to open the grass is simple simply click on edit and create another sketch that will cut it that will open it if i create another sketch now it will open the the grass let's look at it it has opened the grass now then there is another another thing that is also blocking and that is the pavement let me open the pavement as well i'll go to simply create another sketch and that one will open it up and let's finish it you cannot see our swimming pool proper now okay the next thing we want to create is the water we want to create the water to create the water is very simple you will simply i think i created water before you will simply go to the floor plan and select extrusion and simply create a sketch and the depth this time around can be 20 mm and the material should be water if you don't have water you can create water from glass if you select glass and duplicate it it will be water this one you are seeing now i selected glass and duplicated it and rename it to water so we now have a water material and let's look at it in 3d okay so this is our water it's just a thin extrusion if i go to one of the elevation i can move it up let me go to one of the elevation and move it up to move it select move then unconstrain it and let the joint be selected and simply move it up a little bit okay and finish it let's go to 3d here is our water okay so if you want to add more features you can always use um, any of this extrusion go to component model in place and you use any of those stuff to add more details and i hope with this you'll be able to create your swimming pool with ease if you need further further explanation don't hesitate to contact me thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye